Hey, it's Benjamin from Tembo, and I'm going to show you how quickly you can get through the onboarding. You might already know, but Tembo is the easiest way to automate your engineering tasks uh, with artificial intelligence. So um, here's step one. Uh, let's get started. And the first thing you got to do is name your workspace. Uh, this is typically your company name. I'm just going to use Acme Corp for now, but uh, type in your company name here and then click continue. Uh, once you continue, you're put on this page here where you got to install your GitHub. Um, the reason we ask for this during the onboarding is because this is really the only thing that you need to add for Tembo to be valuable to your company. Um, we do have integrations such as Linear, Sentry, Jira, etc. And you, and you can install these later. These are sort of ways to connect Tembo to more of your stack, but without a sort of core integration, which is where your code is located, for example, GitHub or GitLab, Tembo is not really valuable because what Tembo does is it creates pull requests based on your tasks. Uh, and without that, we can't really, you know, submit the, the, the pull request. So um, what you're gonna do here is install GitHub, pick it, um, on your org, you might have your org here. In this case, I'm gonna choose one of my org organizations here and I'm gonna give it permissions to use uh, the API and the web app. You might decide to give it all repositories or you might select just a few, that's totally up to you. And then you install and authorize. In this case, since I have two-factor authentication on, I'm gonna to have to essentially use GitHub Mobile to uh, let this installation go through. And I'll be back in a second when I've done this. Just like that, um, I now accepted it and we're taken back to the onboarding. So now you, you should be on the same page that you were on before you were sent off to GitHub. And you can now see that it says continue with GameLab app, which is my organization in this case. And then the next step is essentially connecting the repository. So here's where we are gonna select the repositories that we want Tembo to work on. In this case, because I only gave permissions to two of the repositories, uh, those two are gonna show up. But if you decide to give permissions to all of your repositories, you're gonna see all of them here. Now it's your, it's your job here to select the repositories that you wanna give permissions to. Uh, in this case, I think we, do, we, we can just add two during the onboarding, usually your API and your web. But if you have a mono repo or something, you can just add that. Uh, here, you, you don't have to add two. Um, so I'm gonna continue with these two. It's gonna activate those repositories. And then you get some information about the credits uh, and you can continue. And here it just shows you the repositories that you have and uh, letting you know that you're all connected and ready to go. So let's go to, go to the dashboard. So now we're in the dashboard, welcome to Tembo. Um, you can go to the integrations page to add more integrations down here. For example, if you use Linear or Jira or more of these into integrations down here, you're fully free to go and install them, um, but you actually don't need to. Um, with Tembo, you can spin off tasks directly from here. I could say something like, uh, find something important to work on in my code is. And then I could select, for example, the web. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and find the branches available. I might have a lot of them. In this case, I, I just have one called master. And I'm now gonna go ahead and create this task. Now, by clicking that button, we're actually telling Tembo to go and work on this task. Uh, and open a pull request towards this repository right here uh, using this branch right here as the base branch. So it's queuing that task. If I click onto the task, we can see that it's now running the task. And in just a second, you're gonna see logs flowing in. This means that Tembo is now actually working in real time, working on this task. And so you can see here that we have a task list and Tembo is now essentially laid out a, a task list that it's working on. It starts on this one, it goes through and you can see here in real time. Now, you actually don't have to sit here and wait for this to happen and you could actually go back and spin off several tasks at once. Uh, and it, say you're using a ticketing software like Linear or Jira, when you give tickets to Tembo, Tembo will work on these all concurrently. Uh, and right here, we, we naturally just have one, but the tickets that you spin off from your ticketing software will all be available right here. So here you can see that it looks like a manual sort of like <laughs> task that we sp spun off. This uh, symbol right here means that you spun it off from the dashboard here. But if you have something spun off from linear, it's gonna show a linear symbol right here, uh, letting you know that uh, it came from linear. And you will also see that here. So here you can see that I manually put this one in, but it's gonna say from linear or from Jira, depending on where uh, this task comes from um, and you could see here again real-time logs coming in so when this pull request is up I will catch you again
Cool, so now you're gonna see that there's a new button here that says open, which means that the pull request was successfully opened. If this wasn't successful, you're gonna see down here that it failed and it's gonna go into retrying mode where it's gonna try the same task up to three times before it essentially just says that this task is not completable. And if that happens, usually it helps to just make the task again one more time and then see it works. You won't be charged credits if the task does not um, turn out successful. Now, if you click on open, you're gonna see the pull request here on GitHub. Now that we're on GitHub, you could see that um, Tempo brought up a quick description here on what it did, um, as well as uh, files changed here. Uh, you, you could see what's going on. So in this case, um, I obviously told it to just find something and improve it, but you would normally have more specific, you know, uh, tasks that you want to give it. For example, can you implement this feature or this functionality or fix this bug? And it's going to get that done. Now, once it's gotten that done, you could actually review the pull request from Tembo the way you, you would review uh, your developer's pull request. It improved this console log. That's one comment I want to leave. And then maybe there's another comment here. Remove this log. Um, there we could say something like, um, explain this better. You, you could essentially go through and say a lot of stuff, for, for, for example, rename this function. You could go through and leave reviews the same way you, you would leave a review for your developer. I could request some changes, submit that review. And, and now that I've requested changes and submitted that review, you, you will see that Tembo is going to react to our messages uh, to let you know that um, it has indeed picked them up. And just like that, Tembo has now reacted to them, letting you know that it has picked them up and it's working on this in the background. So now it's just time to wait again and I'll pick it up when Tembo has responded. Cool, so Tembo just uh, committed a new change from what we said leaves another comment letting you know what it actually did. And if we look at this uh, commit here now, we could see that um, it has uh, updated the comment that it said, we said to remove something here and to rename this function and update this. So this is how we kind of go back and forth with uh, Tembo to make sure that the pull request is in a stage that uh, like essentially a mergeable state. A lot of the time we've noticed that Tembo uh, gets PRs essentially 80%, 90% there. And all it requires is a couple of comments uh, just to make it mergeable. So I hope that explains the platform. Um, and if I now go ahead and merge this, it's gonna say that it's merged. But if I decide to close this pull request and we go back to Tembo, you're gonna see that this pull request is now closed and you could generate another one uh, if you want to generate an entirely new one with some more context. So thank you for watching this demo. I hope uh, this made sense. Feel free to reach out if you have some more questions. Uh, you could always do that by clicking your profile picture in the top right, clicking on um, suggest a feature or report a bug and you're gonna be put in touch with me directly uh, here. So thank you, have a wonderful day.